Hi guys, so in today's video I want to talk about nursing school test anxiety or just test anxiety in general because I feel like nurses kind of have this personality where we're like really wanting to do well and be proficient and confident but then you know when it comes to testing it can be very nerve-wracking because we have so much pressure on us to do well and for some of us it's worse than others and we can have really bad test anxiety which actually inhibits our ability to, to take the test and so I want to talk about test anxiety and uh, my experience and what we can do about it. So I do have kind of a mild test anxiety but I would say my anxiety is actually uh, a type where it's a little bit more beneficial for the test. You know, there's a scale of anxiety that you'll learn about that, you know, you have mild anxiety, which actually helps you. You kind of become a little bit more alert and, you know, a little bit more proficient. And then there's anxiety when you, you creep up on that scale and you're moderate or severe or even panic level anxiety that you're actually inhibiting your brain function and thinking process. And that can be um, not so good when you're on a test because, you know, you obviously want all of your brain function to be working when you're taking a test. And I think it's very common for students to have test anxiety. And before I, before I would take tests, I would be nervous. I would feel sick. There were some tests that like I would feel so nervous for that I literally was like, I think I am going to throw up. And I remember one test in particular, it was a math test for drug calculations. And it was so simple, like, so simple. We had to get 100% on it or else we had to retake the test. And if we didn't, then we would fail the course. So I was like, oh my God, 100%. That is so much pressure to get 100%. Even though it's like I knew what I was doing, I just felt so much pressure and so anxious about it. And I have anxiety in general. I think a lot of people do. And I was so nervous for it. Um, but anyways, so test anxiety, what we can do about it. Um, I think the best thing we can do for test anxiety is be prepared and have a routine. So have a routine of how you study, have a routine for what you do the morning of tests and keep it consistent. Have familiarity because if you change something up and you're not being consistent, then your brain is already going to be kind of off with that, and then you have a test to worry about. So, for example, if you normally wake up in the morning and go on a five-mile jog before you go to nursing school, great, do that on the morning of the test. If you normally don't do that, don't wake up at 4 a.m. to go on a run before you do and take a test, because you're going to totally throw off your whole schedule, and your body's going to be like, oh my god. Unless for some reason that's something you've been doing for years and years and years, <laughs> and that's worked for you, then great. But don't change up your routine on the morning of a test just because you have a test. Keep things consistent. Of course, good night's rest, eat a good breakfast, drink lots of water, and honestly, what I did before tests, the day before and night before, is I usually didn't study because I had prepared myself so much leading up to the test that the night before I gave myself a little break. Um, now, not everyone is very, um, I don't want to say good at doing that or, you know, can't really just shut off their brain and do that. But if you're able to, I think that is wonderful. So my next thing is being prepared. Prepare, prepare, prepare for your test. So that way, when you get to the test, you can honestly tell yourself, I have legitimately done everything that I know within my knowledge of how to prepare for this test that even if I get a B on it or a C on it or don't do as well as I wanted to, I know that in my mind I did everything I could to study. I go into the test without having any regrets. You know, you don't want to be like, man, I should have read the textbook or man, I should have made flashcards. I didn't make flashcards this time, but I should have. So do everything in your power to study for that test so that when we go in, even if it's a hard test, you say, well, I literally did everything I could and I learned from this test, so next test, I know what I need to change and do differently. That helps with test anxiety, is to know that you have prepared the most that you can for the test. And that is what helped me with my test anxiety. Um, some other great tips is, you know, breathing exercises and, you know, just the mental exercises of telling yourself that you can do it, it's only an hour, it's only two hours, you're gonna get through it, and really, in the end, if you don't do as well as you want, really what does it end up to? You know, like failing is not the end of the world. Not doing as well is not the end of the world. And you know, as a nurse, sometimes we don't do as well on our shifts and you have to just pick yourself up, carry on, learn from your mistakes and move forward and be a better nurse for it. And that's what you have to do in nursing school as well. If you guys have any other great tips on test anxiety, leave them in the comments below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.